And when Ken mentioned I was in the finals at Rooster Tea Feathers, it's true, I was. And I really was excited because it's, look, I'm a mom, everyone's young out there, they're talking about swiping left and getting it on, and I'm talking about things breaking down. So, <laughs> and when you get there, the audience is pretty young. See, like, I just scared you. It's going to break down. I'm so sorry, honey. There are exercises. I suggest you do them, because I will tell you later what happened on that trampoline. Okay. It's okay, you're young too. Do the exercises. Okay, I digress. Anyways, so I was really excited because I had made it. There was only 10 of us. Okay, it's a Wednesday night. I work during the day. I'm driving home because I need to get dressed and look the best I can look amongst these 20 year olds. So I'm driving and I get a call from my husband. And I answer and he says, where are the band-aids? I said, what? He's all, Rachel, we need band-aids and we need a lot of them. I said, oh my God, what has happened? He said, I don't want you to panic. Well, that makes me panic. <laughs> Have you met me? I'm Jewish. We panic a lot. I said, my God, what's happened? He says, why don't we own Band-Aids? I said, we own Band-Aids. They're in the closet. He said, I would go get every kind of ointment you can find. Oh, my God. I run to the Walton Greens. I get Neosporin Plus, Neosporin. I don't know what's happened, though. I walk in the house, and my son is laying on the couch shirtless with a panty liner taped to his back. <laughs> I said, what has happened? My husband looks at me and says, well, we don't have Band-Aids, so I had to put a tampon on him. I said, that is not a tampon. Now I'm already concerned. And I said, that's a panty liner. And my son sits up and says, oh my God, am I going to get a period? Okay. God, I hope not. And then my daughter comes out and she has a panty liner on her forehead. I said, what happened to you? I have a headache. Okay. So I said, what has happened here? And my son, his name is Noah, he proceeded to tell me that we have a rope sing, swing. I don't, you can see there's a rope swing there, okay? I was on it and dad thought it'd be fun to push me real hard, but he pushed me into the fence where there's a big nail. <laughs> was the nail rusty? Probably. I said, oh my God, you're gonna have tetanus. Is your jaw shutting? <laughs> He's like, what? I said, is your jaw, can you move your jaw? He's like, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm getting a period. I said, oh my God. So now I'm in a panic. So I decide I should call my sister-in-law, who's a trauma ER nurse at San Francisco General Hospital. She's not busy. So I call her. And for some reason, she always answers for me because I think she feels sorry for me. And she goes, what's going on? What's going on? I got a, I got a stabbing in the room, but they're going to die anyways. What's going on? <laughs> I said, oh my God, Brenda, your brother pushed Noah into a rusty nail and I am in the finals. So when does the lockjaw set in? <laughs> and she goes, oh my God, Rachel, where's his vaccination book? The book? What? Rachel, they gave you a book at the pediatrician. I said, oh shit, you're supposed to keep that? I didn't know. I didn't know. I looked through it. There was no instructions.